Christians still comprise the largest religious group in the world, representing nearly a third of the total global population. But do all Christians think the same? Let's study the past to understand this. The Roman Empire was split in 395 AD. Christianity became the official state religion of the Roman Empire, both East and West. Let's try to understand what their differences are. Difference number one, a pope figure. Probably the biggest and most obvious difference between the Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church is that the Orthodox Church doesn't have a Pope figure. For Roman Catholics, the Pope is not only supreme, that is to say he has immediate jurisdiction in every church in the whole world. In 1870, the First Vatican Council strengthened the central position of the papacy by means of its dogmatic definition of papal primacy. The Roman Catholic Church is considered the center of Catholicism. The Orthodox Catholic Church has no central doctrinal or governmental authority. It considers Jesus Christ to be the head of the church. Patriarchs, Metropolitans, and Achaemenrites cover certain points of administration. Difference number two, asceticism and fasting. It used to be that Roman Catholics had them a moderately rigorous fasting tradition. Now, largely speaking, the only obligation for most Catholics is that you don't eat meat on Fridays during Lent only. The Orthodox Christian, who is really following what's expected of us, we end up fasting almost half the days of the year. Difference number three, iconostasis. When one walks into an Eastern Orthodox church, one of the first things a non-Orthodox person will notice is a large screen of iconostasis at the front of the nave or auditorium. This often beautiful structure is not merely decorative. It serves an important purpose within the Orthodox system by marking off the boundary between the common area and the sanctuary. Orthodox priests pray over the elements on the altar which is located in the sanctuary behind the iconostasis and therefore set apart from the congregants. Difference number four, icons. Another thing one is quickly struck with when walking into an Orthodox church is the pervasive presence and use of icons. However, the icons in an Orthodox church are usually quite different from those found in Roman Catholic churches. Within the Orthodox tradition, Religious imagery is carefully controlled and for the most part is produced on a flat surface using paint or something similar. Difference number five, the involvement of the children. Orthodox Christian babies are fully engaged in the whole life of the congregation sacramentally. Roman Catholic children are baptized, but they can't fully participate until later, around seven to eight years. For those who didn't know, Eastern Christians make the sign of the cross from the right shoulder to the left while Western Christians make the sign of the cross from the left shoulder to the right. Difference number six. The Russian Orthodox Church possesses the power to forgive sins, where there is true repentance and sincere confession. Roman Catholicism teaches that the treasury of merit, the store of good works belonging to Christ and the saints, is placed under the charge of the Pope, who possesses the power to dispense merit through what are called indulgences. These indulgences not only bestowed pardon for sins committed already, they were used to license the commission for future transgressions as well. Difference number seven. For Roman Catholics, kneeling is one of the most distinctive physical gestures of praying during the celebration of Mass. In the Orthodox Church, people make prostrations or full bows to the ground. Difference number eight. Although Eastern Orthodox do not normally bless themselves with holy water like the Catholics do, a quantity of holy water is typically kept in front of the entrance of the church where it is available for anyone who would like to take some of it home with them. Difference number nine. In general, Orthodox Christian priests and monks wear long beards and Roman Catholics do not. Difference number 10. The veneration of relics in the Catholic Church is an ancient tradition. Jesus' clothes, remnants of the cross on which Christ died, nails with which he was nailed to the cross, etc. As well as the veneration of martyrs, saints, and blesseds. Difference number 11. Orthodox priests are divided into two distinct groups, the white or married clergy and the black or monastic. In the Catholic Church, clerical celibacy is the discipline by which only unmarried men are ordained to the episcopate. We hope we are able to explain the differences between the Orthodox and the Roman Catholic Churches. 